Hello, my beautiful Taurus Vibe Tribers. Welcome to your July 1st through 31st, 2023 reading. Many blessings to you all. Remember, this is the collective energy for all Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising. That means if you'd like to have a personal reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you once you schedule your appointment. So with that, let's see what July has in store for the beautiful Taurus in my life. Here we go. All of you are my beautiful Tauruses, by the way. Seven of Cups. Dump truckload of blessings and the world card. Being on top of your game, absolutely elevated in the energy. It can mean promotion. It can mean victory and all the above. And you know this dump truckload of blessings is the energy of it all happening simultaneously. So don't try to take it in all at once. It is always the way of understanding that this is about doing it one step at a time and follow through. Follow through and finish. Go to the next step. Follow through and finish. Go to the next step. Don't try to conquer it all at once or you will engorge yourself and, and short circuit what you're trying to accomplish because you can't do it all at once. It must be done a step at a time. Doesn't matter which step, just one step. Solidarity in that one thing. Finish it. Go to the next and that is the way to victory in this energy. You're absolutely on top of the world. This is feeling empowered and strong and it's a beautiful breakthrough energy of a brand new cycle beginning. Let's see what else we have. Thank you angels, archangels, divine pure white light, divine spirit, Love the energy of the lovers showing up. This is a Gemini Major Arcana. It's also the connection to your soul. Your physical body is the masculine warrior. Your spirit is the beautiful damsel. This is the wonderful energy of connection to source and self. Whether it's your calling, what you're being called to do in this lifetime, or when you're in the energy of connection, whether, whether it's your, your way forward or the connection with the people around you, being in that solid energy, it is a very good energy, and it is the Gemini Major Arcana. So, relationship energy, partnership energy, success in your in your life story, your life journey energy, all of it is good. Divine Spirit, Spirit Guides, Gods, and Goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow all Taurus, Sun, Moon, and Rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome your blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. We have the Queen of Pentacles. This is your Taurus Queen, so this is the fertility of the new beginning as we start here. It's also showing you this pillar in the background that is encrusted with emeralds. It is the sustainability of that good energy and fortune and, and abundance and she's also got it in hand so not only is it being kept in a very safe space and in a place of uh, dependable reliable energy you also have access to it which makes it all the difference in the world and here's an offer coming in whether it's a job or someone telling you how they feel in a very positive way they are very authentic that is the knight of cups and it's very fast moving because he's on horseback the heart's desire being granted. So this can mean relationship and or anything else in your life. Uh, it is the energy of getting what you want, feeling satisfied, overjoyed, in a place of celebration, very content in that energy. Nine of Cups is the universe saying yes to your heart's desire. The Eight of Wands. This is the energy of negotiation and communication. Very fast-moving energy. It can also mean air travel for some folks. It is a lovely energy of new possibilities and new, very fast-moving frequencies as you move right into the new cycle. Beautiful energy. So lots going on in that. Now we're going to household, relationship, love life, spiritual life. All of that is in the household energy here on the top left. And you're going, oh, I just got so many things going on. I, I asked the universe for help, but I can't stop trying to control it. <laughs> this is the story of a human's life. This is, you can never get past this. Um, we, we can suppress it for a little while, but it doesn't ever go away, just like your ego. When you ask the universe for help, you have to be still long enough to let it work. 
<laughs> so she's trying to, against all, uh, she's literally bound to keep her from doing that, and her eyes are covered, so she doesn't even really have a fixed energy of where, but she's really in her head trying to make choices and do things that would spur this on. Well, let me tell you, when you're at this stage, you have to just be still because you've asked the universe and now it's bringing it in. So let it do its part. It's not your move. That's what you have to remember. It's like chess. This time it is not your move. We have the emperor, the energy of the Aries major arcana. He is also the emperor of all that is. And this is a cycle of completion. So it's something fully formed ready for you to step into with action and it is the Aries energy. We love this masculine energy of the universe. It means something has totally come into being. And we have the Leo strength card. The Leo major arcana is the Archangel Ariel. Ariel is the Lion of God and this is keeping you focused on the goal only. Not on all this outside stuff. So this is what I recommend in this energy with the blindfold on, that Eight of Swords, the Over Analysis Paralysis card. You want to make sure you focus inward for the goal so that you're pulling the energy in to match what you're seeking and not in that frantic energy of, I don't know what's happening. When you get into that, then you've lost control of what your focus is. Get back to your focus inwardly. What is it that you want to receive in its fullest form already complete? See it in that way, not how it's going to happen, not when it's going to happen. Let all that go because it can happen instantly once you get really dialed in. You don't have to worry about how and when. When you dial in to the having of it, the how and when speeds up exponentially. And you don't have to know the path. You just have to be able to follow your heart. And this path is splitting on its own. It's not like you have a choice about it. You do have a choice of which way you go. Both come out ver virtually the same. But the journey to get to that end result is different. So let yourself be pulled in your, in your energy. Follow your intuition. And allow yourself to, to listen to yourself. Listen to your physical energy and your, and your psychic ability to tune in to the right decision. But know that once you make it, don't second guess. Because either way, it's going to still same result. You just get to pick which way you want to move to do it. Oh, we'll take that. Hello. This is your your uh, career in finance over here. So Ten of Pentacles is quite nice. Um, this is the abundance of a lifetime energy. And when I say abundance of a lifetime, everybody has a different idea about what that is. I encourage you to expand whatever your current idea of abundance of a lifetime is into uh, uh, the largest number you can imagine or just say it's the abundance of a lifetime, right? And let the universe figure out what that means to you because sometimes it'll give you more than you expect if you don't try to limit it. In other words, don't ask for a job paying $100,000 a year. What if you were to hit the lottery and win $10 million? The universe <laughs> That moved right when I said that. <laughs> we'll take it. Thank you, universe, for the confirmation. <laughs> Allow yourself to be open to all ways that the universe can move money because it doesn't have to be through your work. Mm, don't limit yourself through your paycheck. And a double for your trouble. The seraphim show up with a double portion being given. This beautiful three of cups is the overflow, as you see, of blessings and abundance. So they are working in your favor to make this be even better than you'd hope. Now we're moving into the four of cups, which is a graduation energy or graduated energy. As we move from a three of the same set or suit from the cups to the cups, three to four. Now, you've got this offer coming in from Divine. Now, remember, this usually looks like an old brown paper bag and it's got a million dollars in it. You just got to make sure you vet it all. Don't throw anything away or, t or say no to anything till you have assured yourself it is not for you. So, sometimes at first blush, something doesn't look as shiny as it, as it should be. Even, even silver tarnishes. You have to polish it up every now and again. So allow yourself to, to understand you need to look closely at it before you say no, because that is a divine offer. It is real. And it's going to rock your world, because there's the moment of the tower coming down. This means whatever has been holding you captive, blocked, in a stagnant energy, this is taking it down all the way to the foundation. The universe is doing this with a lightning strike. It's not you doing it. It's the universe shaking and rattling and rolling and allowing you now to be absolutely uninhibited. 
and you can go forward absolutely in a whole new way. I got this card a whole bunch when I was starting this channel and I was a little worried at first and then my guide said, no, 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 it's not about taking away from you. It's about setting you free. You don't have to go punch a clock anymore. You don't have to follow someone else's rules anymore. You get to set the time you want to work. You get, you know, all of this stuff that I couldn't do. I don't have to drive through traffic both ways, right? So it, it's huge, huge deal. So that's a great breakthrough energy in your career in finance. Now we're going to go into near future. We have the King of Swords. This is Archangel Michael showing up. So protection and the ability to move forward as this debris, well, he will help you clear some of that that's happening. So wonderful energy of clearing your path as you walk forward with Archangel Michael. Now you've got another Archangel, Archangel Uriel. This is the Sagittarius, Major Arcana. But as Archangel Uriel, she's the keeper of the fire of life, the vitality of all things, that spark that makes us alive. And she's the keeper of this flame. And she's doing alchemy bringing liquid from the fire and then dropping it down into pixie dust to create synchronicity. All you have to do is not walk faster than she can sprinkle, right? So don't, don't rush in. Be a steady, constant move forward. Soul family energy, the six of cups. This is a beautiful energy of people around you who support you and stand with you. They have been through many lifetimes with you. And even fur babies count in this. So you are surrounded by people who believe in you and support what you're doing. So they're very supportive and encouraging. And the Eight of Cups. This is a yes from the universe for you to pass by all the things that you felt like were roadblocks. Because this is all clearing that out with that tower. All the things that you had to go through, all of the challenges you faced, all of the learning, you are now on the other side of that. It is literally like you've passed through the gauntlet and you have the ability now to see your way clear and the universe is showing you what's available to you far out in the distance on the horizon. That means all of the things you're being shown are absolutely possible. You just have to pick which thing you want to head toward. So it's like being a kid in the candy store. One of my guys just went, a kid in the candy store. So I had to throw that in for them. And you've got a lot going on, so you also want to make sure you get rested and ready. So when you have any downtime, get yourself in a place of restoration, revitalization, do your meditation, get enough sleep, set a, set a, real, a realistic schedule for sleep, eat living food, not just processed food, and allow yourself to have fun. This whole life is for for, for you to enjoy. You're not supposed to just be a, doing it like a drudgery. And we're going to start with the clarifiers. Starting right off where we left off here in the near future energy. Eight of Cups is telling you it's happening. This is a yes. You may now proceed. So totally aligning with the last card. So we're picking up with the same energy. Let's see what else we have. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light, divine spirit, spirit guides, gods, and goddesses. Thank you so much for being present here to allow all Taurus, sun, moon, and rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome your blessed energy. Thank you so much, divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. Here we go. King of Rods, beautiful energy, strong, powerful fire sign energy coming in. It is all about leadership. This can be entrepreneurial energy. It can be boss energy. It can be a new job because we're looking at that Queen of Pentacles there. So all fertility is open for this energy. And the King of Rods is a very strong energy for jobs, work, employment. And we have Don't Settle for Less Than You Deserve, this offer coming in. Make sure you stand for what you believe, what you know your worth is. It's really, you just got to know your worth and, that, and stand in that energy. And also, don't let other people talk you out of these ventures that are coming in. You have set yourself up for this. This is not a one and done thing. You've been working in this direction. So don't let anyone else, you know, rain on your parade. 
you're in a place where it's all manifesting now. We have the five of pentacles, and this is where we're, we feel like we know something's happening, but we can't quite see it. Doesn't mean it's not there. It just means it's not visible, and that's okay. We are moving in the right direction here. I think I have a skeeter. Hold on. Come here, skeeter. There's a skeeter trying to get me all. He landed right there. Now we have the Knight of Rods. The Knight of Rods is the energy of absolutely being in a place where you are making that move forward. You are taking the action. It's happening. It's saying, come on and let's do this. And there you are doing it. The Knight of Swords. Now, he's the instigator for this tower. He's coming in charged up and ready. Literally like a lightning strike. And that is exactly what's taking that tower out. So this energy is coming in. It can be someone reaching to, out to you from out of the blue. It can be a sudden epiphany. It, it can be anything that's coming all of a sudden out of the blue. It, whatever energy it is. It's trying to contact you or give you some insight. So allow yourself to be available to that energy when it comes in. We also will take this Ace of Cups with glad hearts. The energy of the Ace of Cups is all about being very much in a place of receiving the the seal of approval from the universe this ace of cups is the dna of all existence so you are being given every single thing you could possibly want to have to have this beautiful energy come in and it's an amazing gift and you always want to be receptive to what the universe is trying to bring into you because this is the holy grail this is a new cycle and all new things coming in to bring you to your highest possible good and give you everything you need and you are in the energy of doing that this is where you're primed and ready master manifester begins as the infinite infinite possibilities are tapped into as you focus on your goal you can achieve it it's, it's giving you everything you could possibly need to do that and you're getting a time period three days three weeks three months third time's the charm so fear not it is all in motion and when those three swords come out and release from the lock position, you literally get to move forward with your whole heart. Ace of Swords, clarity, divine victory. This is a gift from divine to help you see your way forward and into exactly right into that Ten of Pentacles, which we will all take with a gratitude of all good things as we start now with the Fool. So a brand new beginning closes the door to the past. Brings you into a place where all things are coming into alignment to your future. And it's a smooth transition. So the seraphim are really working to bring in the, the moment where you get to shift energy into the new. And there's that emperor again, fully formed and ready for action. With the beautiful uh, Chintamani stone in his left hand there. And the Ankh in his right. So the orb of enlightenment is there. And that's the four of cups energy right below. So you know this is definitely... Part of that divine offer. And it's telling you, stay in your enlightened mind. Get in a place of meditation and don't let this tower rattle you. The tower must come down in order to remove the obstacles that have been standing in your path up to now. So stay in a place of zen <laughs> while it all comes rumbling down. Everybody else may be panic panicking and saying the sky is falling, but don't let yourself get in that place. You just stay in, I know that I know that I know that this has already worked in my favor and it's happening for me and the universe is aligning all things for my highest good. Remember, even when the rafters are rattling, you can be prospering. Everybody doesn't have to be in a place of fear just because things are changing. Things do change in order to allow you a way through. People succeed all the time in, 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 in scarce times. Just in their mind, they're not in a place where they're being hindered. So here is your Queen of Rods and your action energy of fertility with the King of Swords. So this is a beautiful energy of creativity and action with the protection energy and the insight of Archangel Michael. It's near future. Hello! So if you will allow temperance to guide you through, it's going to bring in synchronicity of the best possible outcome. This is the Ten of Cups. It is all things aligned in the highest good. It's also the energy of being in your uh, best possible life now. So all things align. Tens are great in tarot. Nine of rods here, where you're feeling like you're 
you're wanting to find your tribe and you just are right on the edge of that so just don't give up stand your ground don't don't quit now you're five minutes before your miracle just stand in your power and allow yourself to be part of that divine connection to source and you'll know when you, when your tribe shows up you'll know so be at the ready because they're about to come a hollering at you and we've got the three of pentacles here with the eight of cups and the three of pentacles is all about making sure you put each piece in place exactly where it should be don't take any shortcuts don't cut any corners your value depends on it and if you do it the right way you get double for your trouble in return for all that effort and last but not least oh well, see we have the capricorn major arcana the devil card they have the misfortune of having a very scary um, um figure on their card um if it's a capricorn person that doesn't mean they're the devil the devil card is about the alluring and the kind of uh, self-sabotage that can come in and the, the daunting energy of another person if they have really negative energy. Sometimes is that because they're trying to control you. And a lot of times it shows up as people's uh, ex, ex, exes and ex-bosses, right? So uh, don't let this person influence you. Your low frequency will attract them to you. So that's why you want to make sure you're in your highest vibration. Allow yourself to release them. They cannot control you and you get to make choices. So make right choices. Don't allow yourself to make choices when you're in a place of feeling low. Don't panic. Don't panic. That is a big deal. Allow yourself to stay in that place of getting centered and focused. Even when it's all hitting the fan, we have to stay focused. Because... Just because the outside is going to pieces, our inner focus is what guides us to our destiny. So let all that other stuff just be irrelevant to what your goal is. And I send you lots of love, my Tauruses. This is a great energy reading of all things coming to fruition. You just have to stand your course. And it, this is the perfect reading for you guys. Because Taurus, is, you, can, you can plant yourself and not budge. And that's what you got to do here. You got to plant yourself in the energy of what you're trying to create and don't waver. And that's simple for you guys. It's your it's your sign. That is exactly what you're good at. So it's playing to your strength here. Have a beautiful beautiful July, my friends. I will see you again in August. Namaste.